Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining us. I'm Francis Weller. Here's a thought for the next time you use your smartphone. It is quite possible the Wilmington Police Department is gathering information on you, even if you're not a criminal. Today, we uncovered that for at least a few years, W. PD has owned equipment known as Stingray. The powerful device tracks cell phone data. As WECT's Alex Giles found out, it's what else it could track that has people around the country worried. Alex? Yes, Fran, the Wilmington Police Department has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on this equipment over the last few years, but no one really knows how they're using it. Now we are asking questions. And we're not the only ones. We've learned the County Public Defender's Office is investigating this too. Stingrays can be used to track your location or see who you've been calling. There are only two departments in the state with this technology. That's us in Wilmington and Durham PD. And to get this equipment, WPD had to agree to a non-disclosure agreement. That means no one gets to question how this equipment works, including elected officials. Here's what the police department said when our city council questioned them about buying this two years ago. Uh, helps in the surveillance of uh, locating those people. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. You, you don't want to tell us too much because you don't want to alert the, the, the perpetrators, do you? <laughs> it's, it's very good surveillance equipment <laughs> to aid us in our endeavors of protecting the citizens of Wilmington. We told the police department we wanted to know more simply about how they're using this equipment and how it affects us, the public, and if it does in any way. They told us we had to contact the FBI. New at 6, hear from a representative of the American Civil Liberties Union about how they're looking into surveillance equipment across the state. Reporting live, Alex Giles, WECT News. Now you never know who's watching. Tonight we're learning it could be the Wilmington Police Department, even if you haven't committed a crime. Yeah, we've uncovered the Wilmington Police Department has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on surveillance technology, which even the American Civil Liberties Union has raised some concerns about. WECT's Alex Giles talks to reps from that group today. Alex? Yes, Fran, John, we're looking into this. The Public Defender's Office has been asked to investigate, and the ACLU has been tracking this technology across the country. Now we want answers. Here's how this works. These Stingray devices can gather your cell phone information by tricking your device into thinking it's communicating with an actual cell tower. What the WPD does with this information is anyone's guess because they're not talking. The ACLU is worried about how this could be used on us as we go about our daily lives. They say it's understandable to use it for criminal investigations, but it needs to be regulated somehow so we know our private information is safe. We spoke to a state ACLU representative about how questionable the WPD's Stingray equipment actually is. This uh, information that before they needed to go to the cell phone companies to obtain, now they can get it on their own and there's still no laws regulating how they use it. So they don't need a warrant, they don't need a court order, they don't need to talk to a judge. Now we contacted the Wilmington Police Department simply because we want to know what kind of information they may be gathering on us or if they even need a warrant to find some of this stuff. They told us we need to direct our questions to the FBI. Reporting live in the newsroom, Alex Giles, WECT News. All right, question tonight for those of you who use smartphones. Are you being watched? Are you being heard on your cell phone? Tonight, we're uncovering details about a cell phone tracking system local police don't want you to know about. And we've uncovered the Public Defender's Office investigating the Wilmington Police Department's use of a surveillance technology called Stingray. And WECT's Alex Giles talked to one of our state leaders about this developing story. He's live outside of the police department now with what he heard tonight. Alex? Yes, John, Fran, well, that Stingray technology allows police to see where your phone is and who it's been calling. You can imagine that's got some people upset, including some of our state leaders from right here in Wilmington. I found myself wanting to know a little bit about what Amberjack and Harpoons and Stingray and, and um, Kingfish do. What do they do? Surveillance technologies purchased by the WPD years ago for hundreds of thousands of dollars. This is not a national security interest, okay? We're not fighting Al-Qaeda here. Not fighting terrorists, but still, this technology is being used by our own police department. Something that has Tom Goolsby all fired up. This is Wilmington, North Carolina. This is the Fourth Amendment in the United States against our own citizens. As a defense attorney, one of my clients has this been used on? 
And did they get warrants to use this? And as a state senator. Anything dealing with this should be coming through us to approve it before people are using this to monitor citizens of our state. I mean, I'm outraged if all this is true. If we give them the power to do this indiscriminately without warrants whenever they want, uh, that really jeopardizes the privacy rights of every American. We asked the WPD what they've been doing with this Stingray technology. They told us to ask the FBI. What does the FBI have to do with it? We're talking about state law enforcement. These aren't federal cases. I mean, is the a, is a federal government giving us technologies to use now? It's very good surveillance equipment to aid us in our endeavors of protecting the citizens of Wilmington. Very good equipment, unanimously approved of by city council. Now, I reached out to our city council members for comment on this story. They, uh, only one of them, Earl Sheridan, got back to me and did not want to comment on the matter at this time. Reporting live outside of Wilmington Police Headquarters, Alex Giles, WECT News. Today, we're learning more about the use of a controversial surveillance technology known as Stingray. The device acts as a cell tower, allowing police to intercept phone data and even track the location of a person. Now, we first told you yesterday a WECT investigation revealed the Wilmington Police Department has had this device for years. The department spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to purchase and upgrade the technology. Now, we're finding out officers in Wilmington aren't the only only once in the area using it. WECT's Ashley Kosakowski has new details. Ashley? Well, Fran, District Attorney Ben David made it very clear to us this isn't just a WPD issue. David explained that he advises 20 different agencies between New Hanover and Pender counties. He says from time to time, these agencies have used the Stingray device in certain situations, such as trying to track down a fugitive. What isn't clear is whose Stingray devices the agencies are using. That's because local agencies are required to sign a non-disclosure agreement with the Harris Corporation. That's the manufacturer of the products. The ACLU and other watchdog groups say these devices are troubling since they have the ability to collect cell phone information, not just on their specific target, but on anyone else who happens to be near that suspect. No one wants to be the collateral damage in the search for a bad guy to have their cell phone information caught up in that. And I totally respect and appreciate that. And I want to ensure that as we move forward with anything in the course of an investigation or criminal prosecution, that that's limited to the extent possible. We are in the process of sending requests to every agency in the two county area. So far, only Carolina Beach Police have gotten back to us. Their chief says they don't own or use this technology, adding that it's very expensive. Coming up tonight at 6, you'll hear why Ben David says this technology does not violate a person's Fourth Amendment rights, which protects you from unreasonable searches and seizures. For now, live in the studio, I'm Ashley Kozakowski, WECT News. Getting plenty of feedback on our recent investigation into the way Wilmington police track people, we uncovered how Wilmington police use surveillance equipment called Stingray that can track people's movements via cell phones, even if you're not a suspect. WECT's Ann McAdams has an update tonight on how this issue is raising concerns nationwide. And Fran, most people understand that the police have to keep certain investigative tools under wraps so that they don't tip off the criminals. But we're learning that key players in the criminal justice system, like judges, defense attorneys, and state lawmakers, are being kept in the dark about how this equipment is being used. In Florida, officers applying for warrants have routinely told judges they obtain knowledge of a suspect's location from a con confidential source, rather than admitting they'd actually been tracking the suspect's cell phone. Emails show U.S. Marshals told police there to conceal their techniques. Advocates say if you are not doing anything wrong, you have no need to worry about Stingray surveillance. But critics say this is a slippery slope, and it's frightening to think what other surveillance the government could be doing on any of us. WECT has learned that major players like Tom Goolsby, a criminal defense attorney and chair of the state's Oversight Committee for Justice and Public Safety, have just learned that this is being used here. He found the concept a potentially outrageous violation of the Fourth Amendment, which gives citizens an expectation of privacy and guards against unreasonable searches and seizures without probable cause. At this point, the WPD is staying tight-lipped about how the Stingray system is being used here, referring us to the FBI for comment. Reporting in the studio, Ann McAdams, WECT News. And if there's nothing to hide, for me to be honest, about 
how they're using the equipment with, with prosecutors and the public. Jennifer Harjo has been New Hanover County's public defender for seven years. Never once has she seen proof of Stingray surveillance use in the six years since WPD purchased the equipment. I have not seen any court order. I am, um, I am not aware of um, from what judge they received a court order. No court order is no good for Harjo. She wants proof if police are tracking her clients or the public. If it's a good tool for reducing crime and arresting violent individuals, then they should use the tool. But there should not be any hesitation in, in their honesty about how they're using it or under what circumstances they're using it. Those who are using it, the WPD, say they're tracking phones legally and they are not intruding on civilians. At least that's what they told the mayor. My discussions with our city attorney and the assistant city attorney have been very clear to me that anytime we use this technology, we have to obtain a court order. And District Attorney Ben David says those court orders may come to light soon. I do want to put this into a courtroom, um, and I think that there's a couple of cases that we have that are in the pipeline right now that will bring this issue um, to, to the public's attention. Jennifer Harjo is already at attention, and she wants proof these court orders for surveillance exist. We want them to protect us appropriately. We don't want them to spy on us inappropriately, and we want to trust them.